This is a series of videos that I'm doing about many mistakes that small business do when they're advertising online. Today, I'm going to be talking about not setting goals. So what it is about goals that is so important? Marketing marketers need to set goals, and by that, I mean realistic goals. So create both short-term and long-term goals for your company. And uh, what do you want it to accomplish? So you put the goals, the things that you want it to accomplish. How do you plan to get there? So, for example, you want to grow up your business out of the states. So how long is that going to take? So what states are you going to go in? So try to be more specific as well when you put some goals. Once you answer these questions, you can start to plan your marketing strategy. Because if you don't know where to go, how do you plan to marketing? How do you plan your strategy to get there, right? So it's very important to realize what it is your goals. And also there are some good things that you can do about your goals. For example, if you put that in writing, it becomes more serious. Because people don't, who do not write your goals, they're more likely to forget about them. So here are things that I wanted to share with you when you're making your goals, right? The first thing, do not set too many goals. Because if you set too many goals, you're going to be lost between them. A maximum of three or four goals will keep your busy throughout the year. So just have the main idea, the, the main focus, the main goals. Don't put too many of them. You're going to get lost between them. There. Whatever goals you set, make them engaging but not aggressive. They should not be unrealistic or out of your reach. Because if you put a goal that is unrealistic, too high to get there, I mean too difficult, so you got get discouraged very easily. So don't do this. So put goals that are engaging. It's going to motivate you and not do otherwise, right? Kind of uh, dismotivating. The third one, write down your goals and review them regularly. So this is one I talked to already, right? If you don't write your goal, you're more likely to forget about them. So the, put it, not only write them, put something, put it then in a visible way or maybe like saying here, review them regularly. Attach the date to the important goals. A goal without a date is just a dream. So when you don't have a date to achieve your goal, it's kind of, well, I'm going to do it tomorrow. When tomorrow arrives and then... You're going to say, well, I'm going to do it tomorrow again. So it never arrives because you don't put a date. So we don't want it to do this, right? So these are the four kind of uh, main things that are going to help you a lot in regarding putting, uh, putting and writing down your goals to achieve them. Make sure everyone on your marketing team understands your goal. Because, for example, if you're doing this alone and all your employees doesn't know what you're trying to achieve, they don't have a way to kind of... Uh, uh, posturing themselves or to behaving regarding achieving their goal, you're doing this alone. And this is not a good thing. You're going to be more difficult. So communicating is key, right? Your employees should know what you're trying to accomplish. And this is might be a way for them maybe to make some decisions when they're, uh, uh, when they're doing the business in your behalf because they are your employees. Everyone's effort needs to work toward achieving the established goals. For example, this is sometimes is translated of a mission statement for the company. I hope you have noticed that some places that you go, like companies, they have a plate on the wall, say, well, our goal is to do this. This is also their mission statement. And sometimes they use that as a way of a, when you're making a decision, are we getting, getting close to the mission, to our goals or not? So this is a way of uh, evaluating decisions in the business. Not only for yourself, but for your for your custom. I mean, for your uh, employees, right? So I hope uh, you enjoy this one. And uh, if you feel uh, like you need more help, feel free to contact me, or maybe go to my Facebook or see the other videos that I'm talking about. Many things that you can do to improve your business. Hope you to see you in another video.